Hi hey there everybody. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video for anybody who's working on their Holly Sniper EFI uh, who is trying to set up their idle speed. Um, I know for me I've reset my stuff a couple times and I'm actually going to do it now. Um, I'm not really happy with the way it's running and uh, I think it can be a lot better. So I'm going to go through that process of setting the idle air control, messing with the idle screw. It's all pretty simple stuff but you know sometimes a video helps. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this under five minutes and I'm going to do a short little series on a whole bunch of different stuff so stay tuned for those videos but uh, let's get started. So I'll run its standard boot up right there. Okay now you're at the main menu here and you want to go to your wizards here. Now you have a bunch of options and it all depends on what you have, what kind of holly sniper you have. For me, it's just the 4150, the 550, 510. So you're going to select that one. Next, number of cylinders, engine displacement. Mine's a 350. Save that. Hit next. Your target idle speed. I'm going to start off with just 900. It's high, but it'll just get it started. Hit save. Next, your cam type. Mine's a street strip, it's nothing wild. Um, that can change some parameters and we can change those later on, but we'll start with that. Power adder, none for me. And then for me, I'm running the HyperSpark. There's a whole bunch of different selections right here. Uh, and I'm gonna do some more videos on the HyperSpark, but that's what I'm running. Okay, so now you're wide open in ignition timing. You can set this. I'm just gonna do 36 for now. Okay, now there's your file. You can hit start, and now it's running and resetting all the parameters of your your uh, sniper. So do that, and then now they, right there on the last screen, they want to cycle the ignition. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so now it's cycled the ignition. And now we can go in here and just look at the basic stuff real quick before we start it. So basic fuel, we can go to target AFRs, and we can see, yeah, it's all pretty much basic stuff. Nothing fancy, nothing's been touched, nothing's been edited. Um, let's see, basic idle, 900, just where we set it at. And then I'm going to go into monitor, multi-gauge. And I like using this Vitals tab. And this shows a lot of information here. Now there's a whole bunch of different ones you can use. You can set up totally different dashboards. And this dashboard one I actually set up. And it shows my ignition timing and stuff like that. So I'm going to use this one for now. Just so I can monitor the ignition timing. Make sure nothing goes out of whack. Um, but at this point, we're ready to start the engine and we have to let it warm up to at least 160 degrees before we can change any of these parameters inside the settings here. So let's get that going. Okay, getting ready to start this thing. There's the initial setup. We go to monitor. Let's go to vitals. And we can watch all this happen. Okay guys, so the engine got up to like 175 there. Um, I am going to show you guys the idle air control screw, or really it's just the idle screw. It's just like a carburetor. 
honestly. Uh, so I'm gonna pop this top off, show you guys that, and show you how to adjust it. Okay, so I had to take my air cleaner off for it, um, but you can see, is this right here, this guy. So what you can do, either take it in or out, and that'll change your throttle blades inside there, which in return, your idle air control valve back here will adjust while the engine's running. Now don't do this while the engine's off because it's just guesswork at that point, but have the engine running and then start slowly going on that screw until that percentage, this is important, that idle air control percentage is between two and 10%. That's where uh, Holly recommends their uh, idle air control valve to be at. All right, we're back up and running. I had to open up those throttle blades quite a bit to get this to idle right where it's at. So now you can see the idle air control is at 0%, so now we actually have to close these blades a little bit. easy as that. Basically all you have to do is get it warmed up to 160 degrees, go onto your Holley sniper and adjust the idle screw just like you would on a carburetor and then adjust that until your idle air control valve shows somewhere between 2 and 10 percent. Um, if it doesn't quite go the way you want it to, kind of blip the throttle every now and then and it, I found it almost like resets so you can watch it come down and make sure you're in the right area. Um, but other than that, if your throttle position is showing something weird, make sure you cycle the key on and off and let the system figure out that you adjusted the idle screw and it should reset the, the uh, TPS or throttle position sensor. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, subscribe if you guys want to see some more videos on this. I'll be doing some stuff with the HyperSpark about static timing and messing around with the settings in there. Uh, but thanks again for watching, guys. Later.